And whilst there'll be a few showers around today, more of you will spend the day dry and a little bit warmer than yesterday. Got details on that and a look at what's coming up this week here on Breakfast. Another lovely image, <laughs> Matt. What's the forecast? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> no, I did. Bit, bit I meant you, Matt, obviously, as well as the weather. It oh, has to be said, doesn't it, really? <laughs> uh, anyway, very, very good morning. Thanks, looks me, uh, Roger. Very good morning to you. A bit of sunshine lifts the spirits as well, of course, and there will be some of that around for all of us as we go through today. But still a few showers in the forecast, but not as many as yesterday, so more of you will spend the day dry. If not completely dry, predominantly dry. I was about out and about travelling a fair distance yesterday, Mike, and ran into some pretty heavy rain showers, so hopefully a bit better today. It will be a bit better today, uh, Roger. Thank you very much. Good morning to you. Let's start, though, with a quick look at what's happening in the week ahead. Uh, this uh, past week's been a bit cool here in the UK relative to what it should be for this time of year. You can see the uh, blue colours on the chart. We've seen record heat across other areas of Europe, the reds and the uh, amber colours. Just watch what happens as I run that animation through this coming week. The heat continues to break across much of Europe, but at the same time, out towards the west, those amber colours, an indication that we're going to see temperatures rise a little bit above normal for the stage in the year and if anything it will get to the slightly hotter category as we head towards the end of next week across some parts of England and Wales showing up quite nicely in our forecast for Cardiff and London temperatures will be on the rise from more uh, general uh, summer warmth to slightly something hotter Scotland Northern Ireland always a little bit cloudier though and even here though it's not going to be cold temperatures in the high teens and low 20s you need to get to the Easter high ground to see the best of any sunshine in the major fight against depopulation in our island communities Ian McInnes BBC News in Newest absolutely stunning scenery there it's isn't beautiful it? landscape isn't yeah. it Right, uh, quarter to eight. Let's have a look at the weather forecast, uh, see how it's looking. Uh, you, no doubt, off the top of your head, you could give a, a, a nice, easy forecast for you as to without any problem. I could do, yeah. Some uh, sunny spells developing there through today. The week ahead, oh, though, fairly cloudy at times. What a pro, Bit of look at rain that. drizzle. <laughs> look at that. Now you're just and showing a west off that. northwest breeze. <laughs> there you go. It's, it's all in there, it's all in there. Anyway, <laughs> very no good. <laughs> a very good morning to you both and morning to you as well. It is a beautiful start to Sunday across some parts of the country. Take a look at this shot from uh, Buckinghamshire just a short while ago. If you've seen these wispy clouds in the sky, they're cirrus clouds made up of ice crystals. These ones are uh, actually called uh, cirrus and sinus. But it's not sunny everywhere. Casting our eyes to the west, there is a bit more cloud here. And it's these areas in the west which most likely to see a few showers around uh, this morning. Most persistent rain in the far northwest of Scotland, just a bit north of US. But big gaps between, it means many will be dry. But Edgbaston, Silverston, chance of a shower as they could be as we go to Wimbledon late in the day. But feeling a bit warmer than yesterday, temperatures around 22 degrees. The breeze lighter in the south, a little bit stronger further north. Now, if, if you were for the beady eyed, you may have seen in Matt's forecast there, there was a nice little drone shot over Wimbledon. Yeah, you mentioned that. Yeah, as well. so Matt, you've got everything, not just the weather forecast, yeah, but a no, bit of no drone rain there. Footage. But yeah, we're nicer, seeing a though. beautiful shot here. There we go. So that's looking that's looking encouraging, although I'm not going to dismiss Matt's forecast of potential potential rain there. Yeah, we might have to close the roof, mightn't they? That's yeah. beautiful. Those it flowers, is lovely. Well, thank you, Matt. But also our forecaster, Matt. So you're gonna put, you're gonna put me right on yes. the uh, the cloud. It, yeah, it was Roger was, was Roger right there, Matt? What were the, what were those clouds that we saw? They were a lovely little bit of alto cumulus <gasps> clouds. So you were up. right. Oh, good. Lucky oh, guess, Matt. Roger. Lucky guess. Uh, there Rod you go. Well <laughs> Roger's done. after your job, Matt. <laughs> uh, we can have it. I'm off. <laughs> All yours, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, very good morning to you. Yes, uh, looking fine there at Wimbledon. It will be for much of the day as well. Uh, just a small chance, an only small chance late in the day of one or two showers. Certainly looking fine here as well in Northamptonshire. These are cirrus uh, clouds, cirrus and sinus clouds, which are made up of ice crystals way up in the atmosphere. Again, not bringing any rain at the moment, but it is a different sort of cloud. Stratus and stratocumulus clouds in uh, the Highlands, where it is a wet start to the day. It's the uh, exception rather than the rule this morning though most places start the day dry there's a few showers scattered around and even in that Thursday there in the highlands it will brighten up a good few of you will stay completely dry through the day with sunny spells